New at 10, 7 News digging into new research boosting your brain power and your body's immunity. And before you react by saying uh, take vitamin C and exercise, we break down the surprising findings. How about a nice glass of red wine as you curl up with a good book? Or maybe work a crossword or Sudoku puzzle. Believe it or not, by doing so, you're not only improving your memory, you're improving your ability to stay healthy. Okay, speed numbers. Welcome to the 2012 USA Memory Championships, where memory athletes rack their brains trying to remember pages of names and faces, a shuffle deck of cards, and random numbers. Three, four, nine, five. The 27 year old defending champ believes it'll help him when his memory starts to go, and that could happen at any time. Starting at a Around the age of 20, people's attention span and memory peaks. And new research shows that at just 45 years old, our brain power can actually start declining. The experts say to fight cognitive problems, the key is to focus on focusing. It can be as simple as playing word games, learning a new language, or just reading a book or magazine. And here's the additional key. You then discuss what you read or learned with your friends. It forces the brain to increase its attention span. Or try this one. Switch the hand you brush your teeth with or walk backwards for a short distance. Doctors say this stimulates new parts of your brain, encouraging it to make new connections. Now to your fridge and pantry. For brain power, a study just released finds that eating two ounces of walnuts each day can improve reasoning skills. To keep your immune system healthy, we all know about fresh green vegetables. But what about mushrooms along with oats, garlic, and barley? Turns out they can all help your immune system fight off illness. And back to that glass of red wine we mentioned at the start of the story. Just one glass of wine a day can give you a protection against common cold. New research shows it can stop cold and flu viruses from multiplying in your body. Whatever can help you reduce your stress is very, very helpful. And finally, get rid of stress. It makes your body more prone to illness. Doctors suggest the tried and true laughter <laughs> as the best medicine because it increases the production of antibodies and activates protective cells. So go ahead, take a break, curl up with that good book and relax. It's not only good for your body, it's good for your mind. And as for vitamin C, a comprehensive analysis of 29 vitamin C studies shows it won't protect most people from catching the common cold. However, doses of 200 milligrams or more can slightly reduce how long that cold lasts.